Hey everyone, Donna Vincent here. What is in this canned cat food? I want to help you understand how to read ingredients on your pet products, whether it be food or treats. I was talking to someone this weekend about this canned cat food and it happens to be Frisky's Classic Pate Turkey and Giblet Dinner. I want to go over just some of the ingredients that are in this that are concerning. I won't be going over all of them, but I want to help you understand what to look for. The first ingredient in this canned cat food is actually meat byproducts. And that's the super red flag that you should be go up when you see anything that says meat or animal and byproducts. Because of this, it's a mystery meat. It just says meat. You don't know what animal it is. If it's not necessarily turkey or it would say turkey byproducts. And byproducts are rendered and processed carcasses, which can include the brain, intestines, bones, head, and usually come from roadkill, diseased, dying, dead animals. So that's a super red flag, and that alone should make you put that canned food back on the shelf and not buy it for your pet, because you don't know what you're getting. Then there's poultry byproducts down on the list. There's more garbage, but at least it says poultry. Artificial flavors. None of us want to be ingesting artificial flavors. It's not necessary for your pet to get artificial flavors. Carrageenan. Carrageenan, more people are now becoming more aware of carrageenan, and I'm talking to more people about it. They're asking me about it. It is in foods that are lower priced foods and even higher priced foods. So it doesn't matter the cost. Carrageenan is used as a thickener in canned pet food. And it is known to cause gastrointestinal inflammation. It also can cause malignant tumors. So if you're feeding your pet canned food every day, which you should be because it gives them the water, this carrageenan might build up and cause problems along with some of the other concerning ingredients. So the ingredients we've talked about, to summarize it, are the byproducts. Look for products that are animal specific and don't simply say meat or animal. No artificial flavors. And that's a place for you to start. If you know someone who is feeding friskies or is looking to feed their pet better and would like to know how to understand the ingredient panel of pet food, share this with them. If you'd like to jump over to my website, I have a free download of low quality ingredients, the most common ones. It lists the name of the ingredient, where they come from, why they're used, and why you want to stay away from them, and also some of the problems that they can cause for your pets. I hope this has been helpful. Post comments below. I will talk to you again all soon.